I posted this picture when I was at the Albany Air Airport. A lot of people got mad. I'm gonna go back over here. A lot of people unfollowed me. And I wanna take this opportunity right now to look at the camera and tell you, I ain't apologizing for shit. <laughs> Hashtag Joe Rogan is a trending over Spotify, Neil Young, misinformation, and the N word. It's going down. And, um, let me just start off. I, I posted this picture when I was at the Albany air airport. I had five hours to kill. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'll play along. And I noticed that a lot of people, comedians, were posting them their pictures with Joe Rogan. And he just recently made a big apology. I see Alan's running in here. Got to make sure. I'm going to do a camera flip here in a minute. Oh, yeah, we got to zoom back out on the interns. So he recently, um, you know, he's in the news because of it. Neil Young said, if you don't take my music off Spotify, uh, it's either me or Joe Rogan, and they chose Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Neil Young. I really love Harvest Moon. Keep on rocking in the free world. I like Neil Young. You know, listen. That's why it's called country-ish. I put the ish in country-ish. Um, a lot of vaccine talk. A lot of people get upset about that. <laughs> And uh, and just recently, someone made a clip of him saying the N word a bunch of times. I don't even like saying N word. Yeah, like I don't even want to say that I look N word <laughs> <laughs> because it's such a everyone's heated and it's getting yeah. hot and all this stuff. But um, I think we'll get serious for a minute now. I'll look in this camera, you know, and I and I invite everyone out there, everybody out there who had a problem with this picture, go ahead and call in. There should be a phone number down here somewhere. Am I? Is this a good shot, Alan? There should be a phone number down there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and start calling it. We'll call this segment. You get a reap, reap beef. You get a beef with reap. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. You know, and I'm gonna be as nice and civil as I can because I don't want to. I don't like making anybody mad. I'm full of love, dude. It's Valentine's Day is coming up. I'm all about the love. So I posted a picture. A lot of people got mad. Joe Rogan made an apology. And I want to take this opportunity right now to look at the camera and tell you, I ain't apologizing for shit. <laughs> I didn't do anything. But anyway, maybe you think I did. A lot of people got mad. I'm going to go back over here. A lot of people unfollowed me. Oh, they unfollowed you. A lot of people unfollowed me. I lost like a thousand followers just because of this right here. And here's what I said. Very proud and grateful to be a part of this Game Changers podcast. Thank you, Mr. Joe Rogan. Hope to get you on the Country-ish podcast one day. Till then, we'll see y'all next weekend at the Kansas City Improv Comedy Club. So I took that opportunity to promote my gig. Yep. Let Good everybody plug. know I'm down with Mr. Rogan here. He's getting a lot of heat. Uh, a lot of people are coming at him. So I thought I'd, a lot of comedians are posting pictures showing support for him. And I'll tell you how this whole thing started. This guy's got the number one podcast on the planet. Yep. I mean, right? We talked about how his yeah. ratings are bigger than CNN, MSNBC, Fox News combined, double. <laughs> right. So, and he's always been nice to me. Uh, from the very uh, first years of me living in Los Angeles at the comedy store, you know, I had to, uh, he went up after me one time. Like at the comedy store, it's a comedian every 15 minutes. Right. And I did my spot and I introduced Joe Rogan and I had a good set. And he came up and he grabbed the mic. He says, "Ladies and gentlemen, that's your new that's your new sitcom star right there." Like he gave me a big compliment. He's yeah. very nice, and uh, I never forget it. So then, right before I moved back to Hickory, I uh, ran into Joe at the Improv in Melrose in, in Hollywood, and I told him I was leaving. And he and his eyes got this big. He's like, "Oh, I'm so jealous. I can't wait to get out of this town." What are you going to do? I was like, oh, I'm going to go home and maybe get a nice big house on the lake. This is before the pandemic and my dad's stroke. Mm -hmm. uh, he goes, oh, please take pictures. Send it to me. I got his number. And I come back home, and I said, dude, I got a special. That's when the uh, uh, Ginger Payne comedy album was right. coming out. I said, do you mind if I come on your podcast and promote it? And I didn't think he'd get, get back to me right away. I mean, it was like maybe a minute. He goes, of course. I was like, this dude... He didn't have to do that. No. Nope. And he did. And so I went on his podcast. Now, again, this was before COVID. Yeah. This is before um, all kinds of crazy stuff that's been going on. 
And we didn't talk about it. We talked about my dad having a stroke. We talked about Hemi stuff. We talked about football. We had a blast. So I saw a friend who maybe was hurting a little bit. And I thought, dude, I'm with you. And I posted that. And whew, the heat. The heat. The heat coming off of it, man. You could roast marshmallows from that picture right there. Um, that's all we did. And lucky means they're doing it. So then – in case you're wondering what the feedback was. And you got the number up there, the Ellen mm-hmm. Jack? Is anybody on the horn? Yeah, we got okay. a few people on the horn. All right, so yeah. hold tight. I got more explaining to do. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this on my head. I've been vaccinated, all right? I've got two shots of Pfizer and the booster. Uh, I had COVID in 2020. I'm an OG COVID. Got that shit right out the gate. Me and Tom Hanks for a minute. We're trendsetters. <laughs> Uh, so I've done all I can do now. I, you know, he's got people on his podcast that will tell you all kinds of stuff. He asks questions. He is, uh, has a thirst for knowledge. This is a good thing. So just so you know, when you call in, just, just have that information ready. And again, I don't want to yell at people, but we could talk about it, but let me tell you how great the feedback was. Now the Alan Jackson, can you go to that? Okay. Yeah. You see the little, um, icon underneath the where yeah it says 10k right there now if you click on that button that's 10,000 people reacted to this photo some positive some negative i'll go to mark hunt what do you think the ratio from positive to negative is it mostly positive mostly negative i think excuse me i think uh, positive mostly positive for you yeah what do you think like 50 60 40 70 30 I say 80-20 positive. Yeah? What about you, Elliot? Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was going to say, 80-20. Yeah, Paul, you want to go different? Are you, uh... I, I'd say they're uh, they're giving way too much graciousness on it, so that swings yeah. way above high 90s. All right, so click on positive. again there, the Alan Jackson. We can look at it, the, uh, the 10K number there. Now, look, out of 10,000, 8.9 thousand gave it a thumbs up. 1.1 thousand gave it a heart. Okay, so now we're at... Uh, Almost 10,000. 27 people gave it a like a heart hug emoji. <laughs> Only 22 people were mad about it. But the com- if you go to the comments section, you'll see a lot of people who are like, screw you, I was a fan, I'm out of here, I can't believe you would post that picture with Joe Rogan, I'm unfollowing you, and they bounced. And I lost about 1,000 followers right away. But then over time, people started going like, no, that's brave of you, which is not brave. I just posted a picture. <laughs> and then so we're back to where I started. So it's a wash. In a weird way, I just sort of like did some filtering. You know what I mean? Hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you, uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then if you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then... You know, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the notification bell, all right? And uh, and know that I love you. <laughs>